Uh, first of all, Ten Hag in. I changed. I converted. I'm no longer Ten Hag out. The window closed yesterday. And with that, I'm becoming Ten Hag in. You will not hear me say on the terrace, Ten Hag out for the, for the rest of the season. Everyone who tried to flip-flop and sit today say Ten Hag out, there's no way you became out. You became Ten Hag out on September 1st. Because clearly, if you were Ten Hag in, you were willing to give him the season. So anyone who flip-flopped after today, no, stay on that side. I'm actually coming to your side. I'm Ten Hag in now. Because I need to see this fan base suffer. The amount of times that I come out here and I call out, don't do your face like that. I woke up yesterday at a text from Terry, someone showing on the, a comment on the straight facts saying, if Stavi hates United so much, why does he watch the club? Why does he support the club? I, I'm not going to let that outrage me. I was actually angry all of last morning when I saw that. I'm like, hold on a minute. So because the club that I've supported for 18 years is not living up to the standards that they used to have, and I come out and criticize that, it means I hate my club. You are right. I will love everything that my club does, including keeping this manager. I actually sent an email to, to Man United today after the game saying, please keep this manager in. I am not even joking. I did it live on my stream. I sent everyone the email. I said, everyone sent an email to Man United right now saying, please keep this manager. I will not call out this manager once this year because everyone who thought that this was a player's issue more than the manager, they deserve to suffer. I want to see one more season of them suffering because they didn't learn their lesson from last season. This manager, by the way, came out today and I have the quote in front of me right here. I accidentally clo close it. Let me read this out because I think you guys were just busy with this. You didn't see this. He got asked after the game. A journalist asked him, is the problem with the coaching and not the players? This arrogant prick came out and said, are you sure? I don't think so. Or we wouldn't have won trophies like we did and beat big opponents. I am sorry for you. After City, we won the most trophies. I'm very sorry for you. This is the manager that we employ at this club. You're, you're laughing, this, but this is real. He actually came out and said this. He said that the same thing he was doing I've all of last season. I've seen we, the we, we, we were resilient. We were fighting hard today. Yes, I agree with you, Ten Hag. We were fighting hard today. And I will back you until the, until the season ends. I do not want to see Ten Hag sack before December or any of this shit. We need to give him 38 more games. Because when this club, when this team finishes mid-table, not even, bro, what did we finish last season? Hey, technically, we've been mid-table, yeah. So when we finish mid-table again, and we finish on negative goal difference again, and we actually don't, and I'm telling you this from now, and you could clip this, KJ, for the Clips channel, we will not score more goals than last season. We will actually score less, and we added a striker. So we will score less than last season. This team, people think it's one or two fix. I actually back what Ineos did. The one thing I'm actually for real about is Ineos. I will back Ineos. And this is not a, a, a sarcastic take. I actually do back Ineos. Because they came in and they did stuff that I'm like, you know what? I see what you're trying to do, except for keeping Ten Hag. But I see what you're trying to do, and I generally need to give you time. But people think with the players that we let go of and the couple players that we signed, five exactly, that we solved the most of our issues. The only thing that I actually rate in this team is our back line. When people sit here and say we had more possession, we conceded less chances. Do you know why we conceded less chances? Because we actually have a, a, a back line that can pass the ball. They just go to the midfield and there's no option there. So all that possession that we had more than Liverpool, you can look at a game and honestly be like, wait, how did this team have more possession? I, I don't feel like I saw that. Because I would assume that Liverpool had the possession today. The fact that they had less just shows you that our possession is just mainly in our half. We have no outlet into the midfield, and we have no outlet into the attack. That's why we can go and sign Xerxes. We can sign Hoyland. Hell, fuck, let's go sign Haaland. We won't score goals because we don't need a clinical striker to score the three chances that we create per game. I'm a Diallo, by the way. I don't know if you guys even know that. I'm a Diallo had the, the second most touches in the box today after Mo Salah. And the brother played 20 minutes. 20 minutes. He scored a goal last week. He got player of the, of, of, of the month at Man United yesterday. And this clueless manager sat down and he was like, you know what's the fix with this team? I'm at, you're out. I'm taking you out the team. And he's the only one who's been doing anything for us. He's the, he's the <laughs> little glimmer of hope that I have every game. When I'm at scores a goal, I feel like I won the day. I'm like, I'm happy today. I don't need the you three points. I just got an I'm a goal at least. And people that still means. don't see this. And listen, one more thing. Yep. Casemiro. <laughs> Casemiro. <laughs> Wallahi leak yom ya Casemiro. I swear, the day will come, Casemiro, where you're finally out of my club. Dizzy, I respect you, man. 
You're the only one who added me to that and said, you know what? I owe you an apology. I was like, you know what? It's too late to apologize. <laughs> it's too late, bro. It's too late, brother. It's too late. He gave away two goals today. And I'm hearing people say, but, you know, Manu gave up the third goal. Look at the difference between Manu giving up that goal and Casemiro. Manu actually received the hospital pass with three players on him. The guy, he, he did what he could. He was like, let me shield the ball at least, try to find someone. And then obviously the three beat the one and he got the ball. Casemiro willingly received the ball, looking at all of the pitch. And he said, you know what I'm doing? Grab him, Birch, come here. You're taking this ball. And there's people that still defend him. I actually, Terry, and you remember it, the first clip that ever got me noticed on this channel was me saying two summers ago, Saudi Arabia, please save me of Casemiro. Two years later, I'm saying the same thing. It is insanity if I come out and repeat the same thing again. I cannot. I cannot repeat the same thing that I've been saying for two years. This is why when I sit here and I say this fan base needs to suffer, they need to suffer, brother. I already seen the light. Some of us are seeing the light. Some of us didn't. And the ones that did it, I need you to see the light. And the only way you can see the light is if you get that one beating. You know, when, when you didn't learn until your parents just gave you one ass whooping and you're like, I'm never doing that again. I thought that was last season. I was like, finally, bro, this is the worst season we ever had. These guys are going to wake up that it's a coaching issue and he's generally making our team worse and people are not realizing it. I was like, yeah, finally. Finally, I'm going to have the troops on my side this summer. I'm still having people at me saying, oh, apologize to Casemiro because he played good versus Fulham. What? No, I, 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 I hate... 